Hello, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a book selling website. The platform that we'll be using is Wix Website Builder. The reason why I recommend that you use Wix is because you can get started for completely free. You don't need a credit card or anything like that to sign up and it is also beginner friendly to use. So all you'll need to do is go onto Wix.com. Once on Wix.com, you can sign up using your email address and create a password. After you have done that, you will be redirected to a page just like this. And from here, all you'll need to do is type in book right there. And from there, what I would recommend you do, you could select book landing page or you could select book launch. But for this example, I'll select book landing page. Then I'm going to tap on next. After you have tapped on next, you are going to be redirected to this page on which you can enter your business name or you could enter the book's name. So I'll simply enter right there. Then I'll tap on next. After you have done that, you are going to be redirected to a new page on which you can choose the plugins that you would want available on your website. So for example, you'll have chat support. You can also select online store because more than likely you're going to be selling your book. So you're going to tap on online store. You can also select forms and this will allow you to collect payments and subscribers. Then you're going to scroll down. If you would also like to add booking, you could do that. If you would like to add a blog, you can also do that. By tapping on any one of these options, you'll be able to add them to your website. Once everything is to your liking, all you'll need to do is tap on next at the bottom of the page. After you have tapped on next, you're going to be redirected to this page on which you'll be able to choose a template for your website. I recommend that you tap right where you see begin with a template. Once you have done that, you are going to be redirected to this page. And these are some of the top picks for book landing pages template as you can see right here. So all you have to do is scroll down until you find a template that you like. And normally Wix would recommend the two best options as you can see right here. So let's say I would like to use this one. All I would need to do is tap on edit. Once you have selected a template, you are going to give it a few seconds. Meanwhile, the AI creates your website in the background. Once it has loaded up, you will be redirected to this page. And from here, you can enter in information if you would like to use the AI to fill in content on your website. But I won't be doing that for this example. So I'll simply tap on the X right there. After you have done that, the next step is to tap right where you see plus 50% in the top right hand corner. Once you have done that, all you'll need to do now is go over to the left hand menu option. From there, if you'd like to add any elements, for example, let's say you would like to add text or you'd like to add an image to your website, you can do that by tapping on image and you could drag and place it. But first, let, look, let us look how the website looks. As you can see right here, this is how it looks at the moment. So more than likely, you are going to be changing the book cover right here. To change the book cover, all you'll need to do is simply tap on it, as you can see right here. After you have tapped on it, you will see the option change image. You are going to tap right there. After tapping on change image, you will see a pop-up. And from there, you'll tap on upload media and you will be able to upload your own book cover. Then you are going to tap on choose image and you'll be able to add it to your website. After you have added your book cover from here, you could change the text if you want by simply tapping on the text box, then tapping on edit text. Once you have done that, you can change the text right there. After you have changed the text now, all you'll need to do if you'd want to change the call to action button, which is right here by now, you could tap right there and then you could tap on change text. You could change the text. If you would like to change the color, you could tap right where you see design. And from there, you can customize the design by simply tapping on customize design and you could tap on fill color. 
and you can change the color right there by simply tapping on the color box. After you have tapped on the color box, let's say you would like the call to action button to be this color. You could simply tap on it. Then after you have done that, you can simply tap on the X right there and you can see that the call to action button color has now changed. You can also change the button design as you can see right there. There are numerous customizing options you'll get access to. Once everything is clear liking and you're finished editing the button color, you will now need to tap on it again. Then I want you to tap right where you will see linked. After you have done that, you will see right here a link to a specific part of page. You are going to tap on which page and we are going to link it to our cart page. So we'll tap on cart. Then from there, you can select section and we'll select cart. Then we are going to tap on done. So once someone taps on the buy now button, they'll redi be redirected to the cart page on which they will be able to complete the payment. As you can see right here. After you're finished editing this page, you can add your story and image right here if you want. So you could add the author's photo and the background story of the book if you want. Or you could delete all of these sections if you want. Once you're finished doing that, you're going to go over to the left hand menu option. And you're going to tap on the third icon which is pages and menu. Then you're going to tap on product page. Once you have tapped on product page, you are going to be redirected to the product page and you'll be able to edit it. Again, you could tap on the image of the book cover and you can change the book cover. So all you have to do is simply tap on it. Then you're going to see this pop up which says product page. And from there, you could simply tap on customize page or you could tap on manage product. So let me do that real quick. By tapping on manage product, you'll be redirected to a new page. And from here, you'll be able to add your book. So let's wait until this page loads up. And you can see right here, it has now loaded up. So all you'll need to do is go over to the top right hand corner. You're going to tap on new product. Then we are going to select digital product since we are selling a book. After you have tapped on digital product from there, you can simply add your book right there. So you could add the book cover and you can also upload your book. You can see right here, you could tap on upload file and you'll be able to upload the book. Then you'll scroll down, you can add the book name and information as you can see right there. And by scrolling down, you'll be able to also set the price for the book as you can see right there. So you can add all of that information. Once you have added the information, you are going to simply tap on save in the top right hand corner. And with Wix, you'll also have the ability to create a coupon if you want. Then tap on save. Once you have done that, you'll be redirected to this page. And from there, you'll now be able to add your book. After you have done that, you can make any changes to the information right here. Again, all you have to do is tap on the section that you would like to edit. And then from there, you'll be able to make changes as you'll see a pencil icon as you can see right here to make quick edits. And by scrolling down, you can also see that they provide you with the digital terms and conditions as you can see right there. And this is one of the major plus of Wix. As I said earlier, it makes it easy for even a complete beginner to create a professional looking website. You can also change the add to cart button if you want. All you have to do is simply tap on it. Then from there, you could tap on settings. Once you have tapped on settings, again, this will pop up. And all you'll need to do is tap on customize page. From there, you can scroll down and you can customize the design as you can see right here. You can customize the text by tapping on text. You can change the add to cart button as you can see right here. Or if you would like to set up a pre-order, you can do that. Also, if you would like to add wish list to your store, you can do that by tapping on add wish list. Once you're finished, again, you're going to tap on the X. Then I want you to go over to the left hand menu option again and tap on pages and menu. Then we're going to select cart page. 
as we want to look how our cart page looks. So this is the page that persons are going to be led to once they tap on buy now. So you can see how your cart page looks at the moment. So this is it. So if you would like to make any changes, you could tap on the page, then you could tap on quick edit. And by the way, we are also going to tap on manage payments as we will need to set up our PayPal and different payment options. So after tapping on manage payments, you will be redirected to this page on which you'll be able to log into your PayPal account. So once someone goes onto your website and wants to make a purchase, they'll get the option to use PayPal. And there's also other payment methods that you can use. For example, you have this payment option by the name of Tilopay. All you'll need to do is tap on connect and you'll be able to connect it. And as I said, you can connect PayPal. You can also scroll down and tap on see more payment options and you could add more payment options. Once you have done that, you'll tap on save and those payment options will show up right here on the cart page. After doing that, you're going to tap on the third icon again, which is pages and menu, and you're going to tap on thank you page. Once you have tapped on thank you page, you are going to be redirected to it. So you can see our thank you page right here. So this is the page that customers are going to see after they have made their purchase or once they have completed the payment, you can see right here how it looks. So you can make any editing changes you want again by simply tapping on the section, then you could tap on quick edit and you'll be able to edit it. Once everything is to your liking, all you'll need to do now is tap on preview and then you'll tap on publish for your website to go live. So let me go over here. I'm going to tap on pages and menu then I'm going to tap on home page. After tapping on home page and I'm redirected to the home page, I'm going to tap on preview in the top right hand corner so you can see how it looks. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. And if you do follow through with Wix, I hope that you have a successful book sale. And thank you for watching and thanks again.